Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about dropshipping and the real reason people fail and how I actually almost did myself when I was first getting into this. And so I hear this time and time again, people, the problems that they're having and things that they need to know. And these are just ultimately the real reasons why most people fail that are trying to get into this beginners just starting out and this is a quick video today I just want to get through a couple of topics and pointers that I think would be really valuable for you guys so the biggest thing ultimately uh, driving this is the skills so obviously there's a lot of skills you got to pick up when you're getting into drop shipping e-commerce it's a whole new subject matter that you need to get yourself educated on and that's why you're watching these videos on my channel that's why you're watching you know videos on YouTube as a whole to try and get an idea and learn how to actually go about doing this and pick it up and I see this time and time again and this is a good comparison is basketball so I actually used to play a lot of basketball when I was younger and so this is an easy comparison for me to make but if I were to be searching and watching videos how to play basketball, that's cool. I'm learning techniques, skills, how to actually get better at shooting the hoop, you know, getting the ball in the net, all that kind of stuff, you know, not getting super technical or whatnot. But, you know, if I was trying to learn how to play basketball, I'd be watching a lot of videos on how to play basketball. However, no matter, matter no matter how many videos I were to watch on basketball or how many books I would read and learn on basketball it does not matter be if I actually unless you actually do it the only way you can really physically get good at basketball is by actually playing basketball it seems very simple but if you compare this to drop shipping you're never going to get that great at ba at basketball or drop shipping unless you actually do it so that's the thing you can watch so many videos videos upon videos upon videos read books upon books upon books and this goes for any subject this is any skill you want to learn not just drop shipping but you know investing as well any kind of thing you're trying to get into as an entrepreneur re watching these videos you need to actually put in the work and do it. And I know that this is so cliche, so many people say it, but if you don't actually get your hands dirty and all you do is read books all day and contemplate, you're never actually going to get anything done. So ultimately, you need to get your skin in the game and go after it because if you don't go after it and you're just reading all day, you know, watching videos, whatever, however you're learning, you know, that's up to you on what methods help you learn the best. You know, at least with dropshipping, there isn't really books on dropshipping because, <laughs> you know, it's it's a, a relatively newer thing. So there's really just videos on it. But ultimately, no matter how much you study, you have to actually do it to get the practice and to actually get good at it. You know what I mean? You know, you're never going to get really good at basketball unless you're actually out there running up and down the court shooting hoops. That is what is going to get you good at basketball. So that is the skill set uh, mentality that you need to have. You know, it's obviously important to educate yourself first, but then go ahead and apply those things in real life. The application is what's going to give you the results that you're looking for. So secondly is testing. So this comes along more specific to drop shipping and e-commerce and Shopify, but ultimately testing is part of playing the game. Part of basketball here with drop shipping is is creating your store obviously that's the that's like the first step you got to make your store figure out what niche you're going to do i have a lot of different videos on cre creating and picking a niche that you like personally because that's going to give you the best results is finding a niche you like personally i have a lot of videos on how to go about finding products how to select a niche all the specifics on that you can find that on the channel in the shopify playlist or however it you know pops up recommended but creating your store and then testing products through Instagram, Facebook. Those are just some options there. You know, you can run promotions on Instagram or Facebook or both. It just is whatever you find successful because there's a lot of different things you could do. You could even do YouTube uh, influencers, you know, maybe a beauty blogger on YouTube and you send your product to them and are like, hey, promote this. You know, you give them the free product. Maybe you, you give them a percent of the commission. You know, there's a lot of different things you could work out with somebody to do a promotion or you pay them up front, they make a video with it, you know, yada, yada. There's a lot of different ways you can get creative with promoting a product, but you need to run the promotions, create your store, and then ultimately test and build out an audience, build your following for your brand and for your store. Because, and then in time with this practice, you'll start to find something that works. You know, you're not going to figure it out right away. If you do awesome, but a lot of people, it takes months and months at a time to actually first learn all the skills on how to make a successful e-commerce store and then 
building the audience and creating something that's valuable for that audience, whether it is, you know, beauty products, what I use that as an easy example, bass fishing, whether it's baking, you know, if you're making cookies, there's lots of different things that you can sell uh, to a niche audience, but ultimately it's about testing it and getting your hands dirty. That is the whole premise of this video is getting your hands dirty, you know, shooting that basketball into the net. The net is that profit with drop shipping. You know, you want to get that whoosh thousand dollars. It's kind of a corny comparison, but this an easy way to understand it is compared to sports. You know, think about it like that. If you're not out running on the court, running down the field in soccer, something like that too, you're never going to really get that good. So you got to just jump into the water, make your store and get going, get the ball rolling, get your hands dirty. So if you have not started your Shopify store yet, this is the, this is the video telling you you need to start your dang Shopify store. And I have a 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, that's what you can click. But if you have not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Subscribe Hit that notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Leave a like. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.